basically it's just a way of all the groups in the village um, sharing resources. There would be nobody in the village this weekend if we weren't doing this. Well, Moneyhive's a pretty remarkable place, really. You know, it's got a school, it's got two pubs, it's got two restaurants and uh, a very good shop. And really, we're trying to make sure that we, we uh, support and keep those businesses going. And this is our way of doing that. A group of us got together about three years ago to see how we could make more of the arts for the benefit of the village. After a few months of wondering what on earth we were going to do, along came the opportunity to apply to create a Scotland for a Creative Place Award. So the, the programme that we put together um, operates at all sorts of levels. So we have the big folk festival or the bluegrass festival. Um, and this weekend the uh, the comic festival are they're the sort of mainstays of our programme. Things like the bluegrass and the folk festival the amount of money that they bring into Money Hive is phenomenal and both the publican and the shopkeeper would tell you they actually would find it hard to survive in, in such a remote rural location um, if we didn't have that influx of, of people willing to enjoy themselves. It's a long, long winter and without the festivals it wouldn't happen. Look at Hunsford down the road. I moved there, there was pub, butchers, shop, post office, now there's nothing. The programme that we've got that is funded by the uh, Creative Place Award that we won two and a half years ago will come to an end at the end of this year and we're thinking a lot about what we do beyond that. And one of the things we're really interested in is uh, creating opportunities for young people. We're going to do an exchange later this year with a project called Liberty in Brixton. We'll take four young people from here down there, four people from there up here, and then they will work together to create a programme of events. But hopefully, if that works, we will see that develop into a permanent programme uh, that will give young people with an interest in the arts and creative activities a real uh, platform for the future. It's, it really isn't about the money, it never has been in money either. We'll always give it a try and if it works and it hasn't actually bankrupted us then we'll continue. As long as we can do this and get places profile in the village, I think it's fantastic. You know, it makes you proud to look at it, doesn't it?